Hey, welcome to SDL Professional Services. I want to tell you about onboarding today here uh, with My Custom Financial Plan. You've read through this site, you've watched some of the fun videos here, and learned that this is something that you definitely want to do. Com uh, choose to commit to your best life, schedule to get your documents together for the first meeting, and uh, we can help you plan to, uh, for your life goals. So you'll pick one meeting a year, two meetings a year, four meetings a year. We like to start you with four meetings a year, and we're going to go over that in the client itinerary. Uh, typically what we find is if you've really never done this we have to get a lot of things together and after the first year or two we'll have a pretty good cadence. So really what's going to happen once you sign up on this site and then um, at our first client meeting um, you know you'll, you'll pick right here hopefully four meetings a year is probably what you need but at least have one annual financial review and at that meeting, we will um, go through your itinerary, which is here. So pick your meetings and then subscribe and pay for annual or monthly. If you can only barely afford, we'd rather have you, um, if you have a group, you come to services and go to groups. And if you have a group of at least five or more people in your company, um, what you can do is actually scroll down to here and you can have uh, just pay 125 a month for five people. So if you want just one meeting a year uh, for your clients to have, uh, for all your employees to at least have something, then you'll just come in here and choose the quantity pull down and just change that to five. You can even just custom type something here and then this will update here and this will be the monthly charge for your company, which is usually a business expense you can write off uh, for the year. Okay, so but we, what we like to see if you're going to do the group, we really like to see quarterlies for everyone um, because uh, it's just more thorough. So if we come back here, you probably, if you're going to do group, same thing, you would just uh, come here and subscribe. And if you have five employees in your small business, just make sure you change the quantity and then you'll be taking care of it for all the employees. So when this comes up, We'll change this to five. And hit update. Okay, so that way you and all your employees get um, a quarterly meeting um, every single uh, every single month. Or I'm sorry, every single quarter you get a meeting. So what's gonna happen at meeting one, you know, this will be done for them because you've set it up for them. But if you're just picking a onesie, uh, then we'll have pre-appointment onboarding and you're going to get access to this. Let's see where this would be. Let's close this down here. You'll get access to Jack and Jill up the hill, for instance. You'll get access to the eMoney platform and these are sample clients. So what's going to happen is everyone is going to get onboarding credentials. Um, let me do this first. So um, you've chosen one, two, or four meetings, one meeting a year, a biannual or quarterly. We recommend quarterly if it's your first year. And then once we get a good cadence, we can back down to biannual or quarterly, depending on how much you have going on. <clears throat> once we build a lot of money with you and give you ideas how to do things, you usually want to check on your money every three months anyway. And something will happen, which in meeting four, you're going to see below. So the, the idea is pick your meetings, get subscribed, pre-appointment homework and onboarding is going to be the e-money login pass credentials are sent out. You're going to log in, choose your goals and put them in priority order of what you want to do and find all your outside accounts to pull the data into e-money and then add other assets like uh, home, vacation, house, jewelry, other assets, gold, guns, that kind of stuff. Then list the values of the investment properties and relevant mortgages so it can pull live data constantly all the time. And then we do run reports and record them into the vault every three months so we can start tracking your progress. So this will just be meeting one to get your data in. And then meeting two will review all your data, make recommendations, and um, you might need some different things fixed. So it will we'll give you a full review, do reports, Monte Carlo simulations, make recommendations, gather paperwork that we need to do the fixes and then get that to you 
in person at your house, we do out calls because we're a mobile trust review office, uh, or we can send e-signatures in this day and age if you're a person that knows how to use a computer, which is half of our clients. So uh, meeting three, um, typically at that point, that's a progress report, a checkup, follow-up. We're finishing some of all, all the things that we need to do are a lot on your first year. So you might need a will, you might need a trust, you might need a couple different policies to fix problems where you're exposed to bankruptcy. Uh, we'll have to fill out paperwork. It's very complicated. Um, and then we'll have to submit the policies and then we'll have to deliver them by law and get your signature. So that has to happen. Then meeting four, usually typically um, somewhere in the year, you, you acquire a new asset. We, you will need to do a checkup on something. You decide that you need to do this for all your kids and you want to basically take care of everything you did for you for them and pay it forward. That's a huge thing we see. Um, but if you purchase, acquire, or inherit an asset, we'll have to um, – if you have a trust, we're going to have to fund the trust, but first we have to get the assets done before we send you to the estate plan, uh, planning attorney. And then if the family event occurs like a death and inheritance, I think I have a funeral tomorrow that I'm going to for a client, uh, death inheritance uh, or a new beneficiary declaration. If you have a new baby or adopt some um, uh, somebody, then you might have to go back through every single policy and update everything. We can do that for you. So plan or a family member or referral, a lot of people are really happy with us, so they refer people, and we love it when you bring them in, come in with them, introduce them, and you know, then leave us and we'll talk with them, or you can stay. Uh, but then uh, it's great when you tell them what, what happened for you. <clears throat> and then what we do at each of these meetings is update all your reports every quarter and uh, put them in the vault. If that's once a year for you, that's fine. So back to meeting one, is this, this video is about getting you onboarded. So you're going to choose your services. You'll get log on credentials. When it comes out, uh, once we get that, we'll set up your client website on our back end and send you an invitation. So you're going to get an invitation. We'll send it to your email, and you will see that. And then when you get this, um, let's make sure the features... We usually um, have you go through an onboarding process. So let's see, that is gonna ask you some questions to really prompt your mind. Yeah, so onboarding is automated for everybody. So let's take a look at what you will see when you get your onboarding credentials. Um, this is what will show up. Welcome to your own personal website. First step in financial planning is to help us get to know you. In short, this exercise will begin your path to a financial plan by answering some questions about your family, goals, retirement plans, and the property you own. So this is for basic anybody. If you're highly advanced with multiple properties, jets, gold, guns, and assets, and entity structured um, companies, we can handle that too. But this is just the basic start. And then we're going to build on a solid foundation. So it'll ask you what's on your mind. Um, just click the things that apply to you. Typically, most people don't know when they can retire. They don't know if they're going to retire for their parents, but I see definitely retire, retirement planning is a big one, saving for the kids' college, help managing a budget. Most people want to minimize all the taxes if possible. 50% of people want to leave something to their children. 50% of people, their parent burn them, and they're still mad. So if you can forgive and forget, then you can. I can show you how to change that in your bloodline forever and bless the next generation. Can you forgive? That's going to be your challenge. That's going to be your opportunity. And it'll set you free of something that wasn't done for you. So let's not be mad. Um, the best revenge is a good living. <laughs> That's what they say. So um, contribute to charity. Maybe you have the heart to leave an endowment. We can do that. Save for major, major pur purchases. Um, we can help you do that. Um, there's a lot of different things that people want to do. Uh, where were we here? So, and definitely we want to be helping you with your investment management. So click what applies to you, hit the next step, and then prioritize them in the order by hitting this button. It'll just say maybe your heart's really to give a lot. You're a big giver. Just keep hitting that button to move it up. Or if you want to, um, you know, save them for college, um, they're going to have to get a job. You know, that kind of thing. Just if that's not your deal, then just push it down. That's fine. Um, but we can show you how to do it and set your numbers for the kids, okay? So whatever you want to do. Hit your next next step. You'll be here. Um, what keeps you up at night? 
okay? Living too long and running out of money is uh, with people not dying at 67 like they did back in uh, the day. People are, if you survive a heart attack, um, if you what do they say you have a, if you survive a heart attack or cancer you have a 50 50 shot of hitting 100 so definitely check that are you going to care for your parents and let them live with you or put them in a nursing home I, I think we as families should have them live with us they took care of you your whole life but it's up to you if if you're going to care for them and you want them to age in your house then you're going to need a long term care policy that kicks out money to pay the nurse because you can't lift them out of bed. My friend Bonnie went through this. Her husband had Parkinson's. She couldn't lift his his weight, and her back was out. So you know you got to have caregivers come into the house. Healthcare during retirement. Um, these are the things that can bankrupt you. Big expenses. But if you have a child with special needs, that's going to need a special needs trust, and you'll need someone to fund that and manage the finances, and then it'll kick out money for. Um, education, food, medical bills, and living expenses legally by law, and some other things. We can get you with our estate planner, uh, estate planning attorney, if you have questions. Uh, you're concerned about stock market volatility. Well, you're very wise. Um, you should be. If you're 65 or older, you got and you lose 50% of all your money. You're already in the retirement phase. You know, there's going up the mountain and saving and coming down. So, anyways, go through these. Click what's important. Add your own if you want to make something up. Put your birthdays in, and um, if if you're married, then we'll ask what's your wife, Jack up a hill and Jill up a hill. Here we go. And then um, here on the next step, tell us about your family. List all your kids. This will become um, what we'll use for beneficiaries on all policies. So make sure you list their all their details. Um, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Keep rocking through that. And then when you get to your employer name, say you work at Honda here in Ohio, and you are a manager, and we're going to say that Jack is making 85000 a year, and he gets a $10,000 bonus, and he'll retire at, I think we all have to wait till 67 now to retire. And... Let's say Jill is working at United Way, and her job title is um, case manager, and she's making eighty-five thousand as well. And she doesn't. Well, does she get a bonus over at charities? I don't know. Let's say they do a profit sharing. And, um, oops, she'll probably retire earlier. We should go back. Everybody's going to probably retire at the same age because you don't get Social Security now until 67, right? All right, so you got that. And then what are your goals for retirement? Um, she obviously wants to probably continue with charitable giving. She's already doing it. Do you want to move to Florida, change state of residence? Everybody seems to want to retire as early as possible. If you're um, a minister, a lot of people want to step into legacy. That's charitable giving. We've already checked it. So um, limited part-time consulting, maybe you want to do some of that. Maybe you want to travel. You make, a, make your own up over here. So whatever it is. And keep moving through here. And now we have, um, let's see, tell us about your future goals and expenses that you have. So this is going to be, you will need to go through each of these. And let's see. Um, you want to do some traveling, and this is where you'll set your goals. So I want to start this goal now and end it in 2020. Well, yeah, you want to take a vacation 2024. Say you think you're going to go to Bora Bora, and you just really want to do it right with 15000 And let's say you have three kids, or actually let's say Jack's got to get his MBA at Honda to make more money. So he needs to, they're going to help him, but he's definitely, he's got to come up with five grand to get that MBA program. And let's say celebration, we're going to have this couple, I don't know if the numbers are right, but we'll just say a 40 year wedding anniversary. Um, renew. Vows. In Cabo. And they think that's going to be another 15000 because they just love to travel. 
Okay, so you and you can set the date. So I want you to go through all of that and put it in there. Um, let's see, major purchase. We're gonna buy a um, vacation home in Tennessee, and we need probably 1.2 million for that. Give enough zeros. Yep, got it. Okay. All right, so then just keep moving along. And tell us about your real estate property or businesses that you own. <clears throat> so if you have a business, you're going to add, uh, say, your roofing business. And it's worth, let's say, you do uh, 600000 net a year. At least, well, then you're going to three. If, you, if you're valuing your business, 3 exit is the typical sale. If it can run without you, so if it's making six hundred, its probably value is one million eight hundred thousand. Okay, so you put your business in there, and then hit your next step. And this is where you add your financial accounts. The most important thing: this will constantly pull data for your monthly income and expenses. So if you have an online account, let's say you have Chase Bank, you're going to go there and log in, and it'll pull all your data. You want to use the direct web API almost all the time, and then you can go do that one, and that'll let you log in. And let's say you have Huntington Bank, you'll see the same thing. VIA Direct Web Access typically pick the same thing. If you have Fidelity accounts um, at Fidelity, you'll typically uh, pick the direct web API, you know that kind of thing. So you want to get your IRAs and your 401ks and all that stuff over here. And then if you have, let's see, MetLife Life Insurance, you want to go log into MetLife, bring that data. So you want to log into all the accounts where you have money or a death policy or a benefits, okay? So it's going to take a little work. So that's why I send an outside itinerary. You're going to have to get all this data in so we can actually review the data on meeting two, okay? So keep working on that, and um, that is a good place to probably leave this video. So if you're in groups, you can come down here, read all this stuff, kind of talks about a little bit of this, uh, and then you can, we want to schedule a meeting with at least the boss, and then each person will get a repeating every meeting every three months for the quarterly, or uh, once a year for the annual and if you're uh, a single person or a couple, then we want you to do my custom financial plan. And what you'll do with this one is just scroll down to the very bottom. Let me see here. It does, sorry for all the scrolling, uh, but stop and watch the videos along the way. This talks about will I have enough for, for, to retire. If you're 40 to 50, it talks about how you need to um, take advantage of 401ks, IRAs, and hide the money legally in, in for those. And this is the data that we're gonna need to gather. Uh, on his, for a Zoom. So um, this talks about the comparison of <clears throat> going up the mountain and then coming down the mountain. And then you can, we'll talk about whether you're a, a, a safe investor, a middle risk, or an aggressive person. But you do need to click to pick uh, one of these meetings. So let's say you're going to be a quarterly client, which we highly recommend. You'll click that, pay, and schedule your calendar meeting. And this will pay for the whole year. Uh, typically, it's fifteen hundred for each meeting and all the follow-up that has to happen. If you buy four, you get one free. So this is the value. If you pick the quarterly, so pick a date, pick a time, confirm, enter your data, and pay. Okay. So that is it in a nutshell, guys. Thanks for coming out, and we look forward to helping you with your custom financial plan.